Billions of tons of water is dammed high up in the mountains or scooped up from rivers by giant turbines. Hydroelectricity has been a stable and profitable energy provider for Switzerland for the past century. Everything was going well until 2012, when the cost of production was 6.5 centimes per kilowatt hour. Electricity producers were sometimes able to sell to distributors for more than 20 centimes per kilowatt hour. They racked up huge profits. But that's all over now because the electricity market is swamped with subsidised wind and solar energy from Germany and electricity from coal-fired power stations. The result is that hydroelectricity is no longer cost-effective. Electricity prices have collapsed. Prices are fixed here at the European Power Exchange in Paris, known as EPEX. This is where electricity is bought or sold for delivery to Central European countries, including Switzerland. On this particular day, one kilowatt hour costs between three and four centimes. You have a such abundance of production electric on the market European market, and the markets and the networks are interconnected, that makes the prices are now descending to very low levels. Very, very it's an unprecedented challenge for Swiss power producers, but there is some hope. At certain times of the day, profits can be made on the stock market. La possibilité de prix qui sont très fluctuants pendant une journée, et je pense que l'électricité suisse est un bon moyen pour subvenir d'une façon flexible aux besoins des pays limitrophes. 400 million tons of water are dammed here at the Grand Dissens power plant in Valais. The water comes from surrounding massifs and their glaciers, and is delivered by pumping stations like this one at Arola. Je pense la force hydraulique elle a son futur comme que comme elle est indigène elle est existante elle est une des plus efficaces elle elle, elle produit à un coût raisonnable aujourd'hui pas rémunéré mais raisonnable et puis nous l'avons en Suisse donc je pense le futur il est là Alpic the country's biggest energy provider has been suffering heavy losses now it's decided to sell off up to 49% of its hydropower portfolio Roland Dörig from Credit Suisse is looking for investment possibilities for pension schemes. He says buying shares in Alpique could be a good bet in the long term. Gut strukturiert, gut aufgesetzt ähm, könnte ein langfristiges Engagement in Schweizer Wasserkraft sehr, sehr gut mit dem Anlagehorizont von unseren Investoren zusammenpassen. Für Investitionen in der Schweiz sind das ausschließlich Schweizer Pensionskassen. But energy expert Beat Jans doubts that the investment would pay off, partly because of the structures of big electricity producers like Axpo and Alpeak. Im Moment kann man fast nicht voraussagen, wie sich der Strompreis entwickelt und ob die Wasserkraftwerke je wieder rentabel werden. Das ist das eine. Und das andere ist, dass wir mit Alpik und Axpo zwei große Konzerne haben, die jetzt gerade Probleme haben. Die Wasserkraftwerke, da sind immer ein Haufen daran beteiligt. Was passiert, wenn einer von denen Konkurs geht? Steigen die Kosten für die anderen und bekommen die auch Probleme? Hydropower producers are calling for a European carbon tax to be imposed on power from coal-fired stations, thus pushing up the price of energy from abroad. Jean-Michel China, a minister from the Valley Department of Energy, says it could work. I think yes, because we have to link the politics of the climate with the politics of electricity. Apart from selling shares, Alpique is also asking for state help to weather this difficult period. It wants quotas, forcing electricity suppliers to purchase a fixed amount of power from Swiss hydroelectric plants. As the government's 2050 energy strategy seeks to expand the use of hydropower, it may find it hard to resist the calls for intervention. <laughs>